dishes. Not pretty in your sink, not pretty on your house. Weather interference, also not a pretty picture. And those dish contracts, long-term commitments, big cancellation fees, it all gets pretty ugly. So when you're tempted by unbelievable offers, read the fine print. It's not as pretty as you think. But with Etel TV, everything looks better. No contracts, channels you really want, a clear, reliable picture, local service. Etel TV, it's a beautiful thing. Hello and welcome to ETEL Community Connection. I'm Jenny Harriman Koenig and I want to thank you so much for joining me for another episode. Coming up on the show this week, we have highlights from the senior prom. And of course, I know it's prom season, but this is, this is not just any prom. This is senior prom at the Ascension Council on Aging. You are going to have a blast watching highlights from this great event. Also on the show, highlights from the groundbreaking for the Jambalaya Festival Association. They're getting ready to build a brand new building. Find out what that's all about right here on the show this week. We'll also meet our next student of the week. We've got a great Health Minute and Chamber Spotlight. But right now, let's talk about this week's Community Connection Calendar, brought to you by Tour Ascension. First up on our calendar, it's that time of year again. I can't believe it's already time for the Jambalaya Festival. It's just around the corner. But before that happens, new royalty must be chosen to reign over the weekend's festivities. Saturday, April 30th at the Gonzales Civic Center, young ladies who are vying for the title of Teen Miss or Miss Gonzales Jambalaya will have the opportunity to compete in the Jambalaya pageant at 7 p.m. Then on Sunday, May 1st, also at the Gonzales Civic Center, little ones will be able to compete for various titles. That pageant starts at 2 p.m. For more information, you can visit jambalayafestival.org or just give them a call at 647-2937. Relay for Life will be hosted at Cabela's on Saturday, April 30th from 6 p.m. to midnight. There will be food for sale, a car show, a balloon launch, raffle items, and much more fun for the whole family to enjoy. And of course, they're raising money for the American Cancer Society. For more information or to register, you can go to relayforlife.org slash Ascension Cancer, or you can call 1-800-227-2345. The Jambalaya Festival Association, chartered in 1967, invites you to mark your calendar for the 49th annual Jambalaya Festival to be held in Gonzales on Memorial Day weekend, May 27th through 29th. Your whole family will enjoy the variety of food, music, and fun, and all of the activities that have made this Jambalaya Festival the can't miss highlight of the year. The festival, of course, features the world champion Jambalaya served every day, live music and entertainment, carnival rides, cooking contests, a variety of food and fun, and it takes four days to get all of that awesomeness in. Headlining our music this year is Sammy Kershaw, also David St. Romain, LaRue, Nana Shah, Chiwis, and many, many more. For all the details, make sure to check out jambalayafestival.org, and you can follow the Jambalaya Festival on Facebook. And that's a look at your community calendar. Now it's time to take a look at this week's Health Minute. Hello, I'm Charlotte Johnson, a registered nurse at St. Elizabeth Hospital, and I'm here to talk about congestive heart failure. Congestive heart failure is an illness in which the pumping action of the heart becomes less and less powerful. When this happens, blood does not move efficiently through the circulatory system and starts to back up, increasing the pressure in the blood vessels and forcing fluid from the blood vessels into the body tissues. Heart failure may develop gradually over several years or more quickly after a heart attack or a disease of the heart muscle. Once CHF is diagnosed and under the care of a qualified medical professional, patients can and should do several things at home to increase their comfort and reduce the chance of the condition getting worse. In fact, the more active role patients take in managing heart failure, the more likely they are going to feel better, have fewer hospital admissions, and increase their chances of a longer, healthier life. If you have CHF, 
take your prescribed medications as directed. Do not skip medications. People with heart failure usually take several different medications that work in different ways to lessen heart failure symptoms, to prevent worsening of the underlying disease, and to prolong life. Patients usually take diuretics, which are fluid pills, and vasodilators, which enlarge the small arteries, which reduce the heart's workload or how the heart has to work. For lower extremity swelling, make sure you do the following. Elevate the feet and legs if they're swollen. Eat a reduced salt diet. Weigh in every morning before breakfast and record it. Keep a diary. Track and monitor changes. Report weight gain and symptoms to your health care provider for possible medication adjustment. The best advice is to be proactive with CHF. Seek treatment if you experience shortness of breath that seems to be getting worse or causes difficulty sleeping. You are waking up at night with shortness of breath. Sleep is better in semi-upright positions such as in a chair or a recliner than in a flat bed. Shortness of breath develops with mild exertion and is worse than usual. Unusual fatigue is not relieved with rest. A dry cough will not go away or seems otherwise unusual. You experience swelling in your ankles, feet, or legs that does not go away. Take care of your heart and it will take care of you. The future of internet connectivity has arrived. Introducing Gig from Etel. One gigabit downloads and uploads power multiple high bandwidth users at the same time. Experience lag-free online gaming and video chatting. Stream multiple HD movies at once. Back up your hard drive in seconds. Witness the speed of Gig. Visit etel.com slash gig to learn more. Senior Palm seems to be a success once again. This is something that y'all do every year, right? Yes, it is, along with the East Ascension Rotary. It's wonderful. And the seniors really enjoy it, it looks like. So what do you what do you enjoy seeing them doing today? Oh, I love to watch them dance and get all dressed up to come out. Yeah, absolutely. They're, and they're very eager to share stories about their days and what they did in the past and, you know, things that brought them so much joy along their journey. So it's so much fun to visit with them. Yes, it is. They are, they're always willing to share their past and their experiences, and that's what we uh, look forward to, learning from them. I'm sure that's one of the aspects of your job that you enjoy the most. Yes, it is, very much so. Tell me a little bit about the Council on Aging and what you all do in the community. Obviously, wonderful events like this, but what are you all here for in our community? We provide supportive services to keep seniors living in their homes for as long as possible. It's wonderful. And if a family has a senior that they are interested in learning about your services, what's the best way for them to find out about what you do at, at COA, COA? They can call either of our senior centers. We have one in Donaldsonville and one here in Gonzales. And uh, I have staff who's there to give the information as needed. Where are you from? Well, I uh, was born and raised in Baton Rouge, but I lived 56 years in Donaldsonville and wow. worked at the school system for 49 years. Wow. I was a uh, teacher, assistant principal, and the last 17 years, I was principal of an elementary school. Oh my goodness, that's and amazing. It is amazing, and the last year that I was principal, I uh, was uh, nominated to uh, participate in the state contest and I was principal of the year for the state of Louisiana. Oh my gosh, so you're a celebrity. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like it. Royalty and a celebrity. Right. A champion for students. Thank you. Wow, congratulations to you. Thank I can you. tell that means a lot to you. It does, it does. I'll, I will have graduated from high school 70 years next year, wow. and we didn't even have a problem at oh. uh, our school. So That's this okay. is an honor. And you've been named the prom queen uh -huh. here at the Council on Aging. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I had no idea that uh, this could ever happen to me. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, well, you look beautiful. I love your tiara. They, gave, they put the crown on. Uh -huh. 
the whole bit. Oh, I yes. Yeah, I do, too. Well, are you enjoying yourself today? Very much so. I come to the council every day and and play bingo and oh. uh, visit with friends yeah. and uh, come to the activities that they have like this. Yeah. They have provided so many opportunities for the senior citizens that yeah. uh, it's just a wonderful experience. All of the dance moves today are different than we had really? when we were. Oh yes. What kind of dancing did you all do back? Uh, we back did. Uh, Jitterbug was the big, yeah. big thing. Oh yeah. Uh, I can remember that. I started working in '52, I believe, oh, wow. and uh, at that time it was all. My husband called it Coca-Cola music because. <laughs> Yeah, you what? embrace one another. Today, you're not even sure you're on the same floor with. That's true. That's true. So Coca-Cola dancing? The, they, like, was it like a Coca-Cola bottle? Is well, that well, you were holding one another. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, he, I like it. He called it Coca-Cola music. That's precious. It's been a terrific journey, yeah. and uh, there have been high points and low points, but the high points have far exceeded yeah. the low. And well, I was married for my husband 56 years, and we have three children, uh, six grandchildren, and five great grandchildren. Wonderful. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I bet they're a light of your life. Uh, very much so. Yeah. Especially the little bitty ones. Oh, yeah. The little bitty yeah. ones. Well, congratulations. And how does that make you feel? I feel so wonderful. Awesome. And tell me about COEA. Is this an organization that you've been involved with for a while? It's a very good organization to be in. Yeah. I like it. I like John Gunn coming in. Yeah. Very nice people do this. They are very nice. And they do a lot in the community. Yeah, they help a lot of people out. Yeah. And they help me out too. That's great. That's wonderful. Are you enjoying the prom today? Oh, I'm enjoying myself. That's good. What do you What do you like the most? I just like the atmosphere, you know? Yeah. It's just enjoy them. It's awesome. The music's great, the dancing, the kids are volunteering. and Yes, they're very nice people. Yeah. That's so wonderful. I, I love it. And um, what? tell me a little bit about the music that you enjoyed growing up. Well, to dance and stuff like that. You know, to enjoy myself. Yeah. Who were some of your favorite artists growing up? Well, like... So just many, huh? So many of them. So many of the, the classics. Yeah. I know that that's some good music. And they're playing a mixture of some new songs and some classics from the back in the day, right? Yes, they are. That's awesome. Well, did y'all get to do a spotlight dance as a couple? Did you do a dance as the king? No, not, not yet. yet. Not okay. Yet. <laughs> well, maybe maybe you'll get to do that. Oh, yeah, I will do that. That would be wonderful. Well, congratulations to you. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Downsville. From Donaldsonville. Did you live there your whole life? No, I'm from Pankerville, Louisiana. Pa Where are you from? Pankerville. Pankerville. Okay, excellent. Well, what brought you to Donaldsonville? Well, okay, I, I moved down after I got married. Wonderful. And you were there for a long time? Yeah. Several years? For seven, eight years. Oh, wow. So you're still in Donaldsonville now? Yeah, I'm still in Donaldsonville. Right. What a great community. It's yeah, a really nice, nice little town. Very really nice community. Yes. Well, the Senior Prom is so much fun today, and I'm here with Cameron and Grace. They are members of the Interact Club from Dutchtown High School. And ladies, y'all look like you're having so much fun. I mean, I think that I've seen y'all out there almost every single song. <laughs> so what are you enjoying the most about the Senior Prom experience? I just love how we get to interact with everybody, and they're all, I mean, they're, they're so young at heart, and it's just such a good time that they get out there and do all that stuff with us. I love it. And look at her, throwing in the word interact. She's interacting with the, I love it. And tell me a little bit about interact. I know that it's a basically a rotary club in the high school setting, and you all are learning that you know there's a value of service above self. Tell me about the club and, and what you enjoy the most about it. Um, it just helps you get in touch with the community and just really gets you in touch with everybody in it. I think it's really nice. It's so much fun. Awesome. And what grade are you in school? I'm a junior. A junior. And how long have you been part of the Interact Club? Uh, just this year. Oh, good. Well, is this something that you think you want to continue with? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, that's fantastic. What about you, Cameron? This is my first year in the Interact Club, and I love it so much. It's lets us get on the community, and it's a really humbling thing for all of us, yeah. and we all just love it so much. That's fantastic. And what grade are you in? I'm a junior. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, same, same class. Yes. That's wonderful. Well, what's something that you've enjoyed the most today? 
Um, definitely the dancing yeah. and definitely talking to all of them. They all have so many different stories yes. and it's just so like heartwarming to know yes. that they're all they're awesome and it's yeah. just awesome. They've been on a journey and they have so much to share. I've, I've been discovering that too, visiting with them. What about you, Grace? What are you enjoying? I just love getting to talk to everybody. They each have their own story that they love to tell. And they're all just so sweet and just so such nice people. They really are. They are. And I'm so glad that you all are here. Thank you for volunteering your time. And it's so great to see y'all giving back like that. I'm away to America. Would you come see me there one day? Yes. For the life ahead. Dear Rose, I have a job and I met somebody. <whistles> Don't let me fall. There's a world we leave behind. Everyone's gone. Come back to Ireland. I have a life halfway across the sea. Watch the year's best love story. I love you. Stay here with me. One day you'll realize this is where your life is. Brooklyn. Mr. Wally, we're here on the grounds where a brand new Jambalaya Festival Association building is going to be built. Tell me a little bit about why you all need this building so much. Well, we're 49 years this year. We got four rental places that we can't find nothing when we, we have our Christmas uh, slade, all this Christmas stuff, all our beer boxes. So when you go to hunting for something, you can't find it. It's all spread out. And it's something that I've been wanting since 99 when I got into this as, as our president I've been wanting to have something that we could call ourselves uh, you know Drum Alive Festival and it's going to be a awesome building something that we can really treasure I guarantee you. Oh yeah definitely a great place because you all have regular meetings you have obviously storage needs but also tell me about the cooking you all do quite a bit of cooking throughout the year so what what will this building be able to help you with in that aspect? We do about 60 or more functions all during the year that we give back to the city, the parish, and all the charitable uh, organizations that we're involved with, which is everyone that I can imagine that we, we, we it's not necessarily giving money, but we're giving Jumalai that saves them from buying meals, and it also let people realize what real Jumalai is about. And y'all's is the best. There's no doubt about it. The JFA has the best jambalaya, and that is wonderful that you all give back in that fashion. This building, tell me, we're breaking ground today. When? What is the expectation as far as building the building, and when will it be ready? It should be ready around August, I think. Okay. I'm hoping sooner, but uh, yeah. we got with this rain off and on, so we were going to pour concrete for the slab today. Oh, wow. And our elevation is going to be at the same as the new city police station, which if we get water in our building, the city hall is going to be about up to their doorknobs. Oh, no. So that's, well, but it's good that y'all are well, going to be elevated. We're good. We're good. good. We're good. No water. And we got a real strong foundation and everything's going good so far. That's great. And you're right next to Project Kids Cove and also the American Legion. So it's a great spot. It's right here in, yeah. the, in the heart of the city. And we can, we can go right to the festival across the little bridge yeah. here on the scooters, you know, and Absolutely. it makes it so much easier. If we need something, we can come here and cook or yes. deliver whatever we need, so it makes it so much easier. We, we're very happy about the Jumla uh, Festival Association locating here, and, uh, you know, some pizza property that we actually own yeah. and sold it to the association. We're happy that they want to stay here and near the grounds where they continue to have their uh, festival. So it's going to be a very nice building. I've seen pictures of what they were yeah. going to be building. Awesome. So nice. It's going to be very nice for the city of Gonzaga. Man, that is so cool and finding out that it's going to fill so many needs as far as the cooking and the storage and the meeting space man that's awesome i think that was the number one thing that wally when wally and i talked about it he said he really wanted to be very close you know to the grounds right. and like you said you know mainly for the storage it's yeah. going to be so much easier for them to cross over the bridge yeah. and come up right behind yeah. the festival grounds yeah. so i mean you know it's just working out exactly. wonderful for them and us as well yeah. Tell me a little bit about the connection between the city of Gonzales and Jambalaya because this is the Jambalaya capital of the world. When you go places and you represent Gonzales, what is that special connection with the Jambalaya that you're able to share with people? Well, it's so funny, you know, when you travel the state, and as I do with the LMA, the Municipal Association, you know, we talk about, brag about Gonzales all the time. And people know that we are the Jambalaya capital of the world. Yeah. And just about every event that we have, of course, we cook Jambalaya. Yeah. So you get teased a little bit too, right. you know, but again, 
we brag about it. We love the association because of what they do. Not only the festival, you know, that's one thing for our local people to come out for. But, you know, the things that these guys do is just tremendous. I mean, they, they help out. Anybody ask them and they'll help out by cooking a jambalaya. So, uh, you know, the different civic organizations and people like that, they have been wonderful to assist. And we, we, we couldn't ask for a better group of people. Carol Ann and Mr. Frank Frederick have been with the Jambalaya Festival Association for a long time and they certainly love this organization with all their hearts. What does it mean to you to see this this sign here, future home of the Jambalaya Festival Association and to actually, you know, be digging some dirt and getting this building started? It's unbelievable <laughs> because this has been something that's been needed for many, many years so that we would have a home. Yeah. We really have never had a home that we yeah. could meet in and we could you know, have our meetings and have right. parties and whatever. At. So this is a wonderful, wonderful yeah. occasion. Yeah. Sorry that it rained today yeah. because it's pretty nasty. That's but it, all right. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's one, a happy one day. One good thing also that we have no place to put our things. You know, like all electrical supplies I keep oh, at home. Yeah. And, and so now we'll have a place to keep it, and so hopefully it can stay together and we can come here and pick it up right next to the Jump Live Festival. That's awesome. That's great. Y'all yeah, are so close, just a hop, skip, and a jump over that bridge. And right. what does the Jumble Live Festival Association mean to you, Ms. Carol Ann? Well, it's been something, I think, that brought a lot of people into our area because it, the Jumble Live Festival is known I guess statewide in the United States we get a lot of yeah. visitors from other yeah. states and even from other countries that come by and when they taste our jambalaya they can't believe how good it is and it's different from other jambalayas. Yeah. We, we are jambalaya capital of the world here and we have Cajun jambalaya. I love it. And what about you Mr. Frank? You've been involved for years and years. What does it mean to you? Well it means a lot because it's a lot of history going on. Our kids were in jambalaya singers and all these things all throughout the years and we've been involved in it and uh, just we've seen it grow and now we're glad to see this building come up. It's really going to be a, a, a good thing for the area and for the city. Absolutely, it's very exciting. Well, we're excited eating some jambalaya here and celebrating this great day and we will keep our eyes and ears open as the construction takes place and we'll right. keep you posted and let you know when the building's up and ready. Hopefully we can schedule a ribbon cutting oh, in August. Absolutely, we'll be here. <laughs> we good. hopefully will be here good. for that. Good, we're looking forward to it. We'll be back after a short break. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. They mean something. Got one shot. Let's make it count. Now on demand. Brad had finally been accepted by his stepkid. He said, don't cry, Brad. I'm not. <laughs> Until... My ex-husband's here. Dusty came home. Holy... I'm going to prove to you that I'm the best. Looks like we got ourselves a cat off. Who wants good night tickles? <laughs> good night back scratches. Who wants 20 bucks? <laughs> what? What's this? Playoff tickets! I'm bad. This one's for Dylan and me here. Daddy Zone. Rated PG-13. Order now on demand. Hi, I'm Tom Mura, and I'm the Senior Vice President and General Manager of the BSF Siding Geismer, located here in Ascension Parish. For nearly 60 years, BSF's Geismer site has been a world-class chemical manufacturer with 22 production units that make a wide range of chemicals that are used to make hundreds of consumer items, including urethanes used in foam insulation, shoes and furniture, chemical intermediates used in adhesives, coatings, plastic and water and glass gas treatment, and surfactants used in detergents. With more than 1,600 employees and permanent contractors, BSF is now among the largest employers in Louisiana and is the company's largest manufacturing facility in North America. Since 2009, we've announced the construction of four new projects, totaling more than $350 million in new capital investment and creating more than 100 new permanent jobs. Through our payroll, payment of taxes and spending, BSF's economic impact to Louisiana exceeds $300 million annually. 
This includes more than $60 million spent directly here in Ascension Parish. We are committed to being a welcomed member of the Ascension community. Each year, BSF sites in Louisiana contribute nearly a half a million dollars in charitable donations that improve education, health, and community services to more than 40 nonprofit organizations, while our employees volunteer thousands of hours to support these causes. We also see the importance of a strong support for our Ascension Chamber of Commerce. It's an organization that helps stimulate the growth of business and the economy in our area. I represent BASF on the Board of Directors of the Ascension Chamber. We have a long history of employees participating in outstanding programs such as Leadership Ascension. We continuously sponsor great events like the annual golf tournament. So on behalf of our 1,600 employees and contractors, BSF thanks the Ascension Chamber of Commerce for their commitment to Ascension Parish. I believe that our chemistry is through innovative products, but most importantly, it's through our people, the relationships that we have with our community. We look forward to ensuring a sustainable future in Ascension Parish and continuing to add value to our community. Thank you. Hi, my name is Allie Kirsten and I'm in fifth grade at Dutchtown Primary. My favorite subject in school is math because I like problem solving. My favorite thing about my school is my teachers and my friends because my teachers help me to learn new things. My family is made up of my mom, my dad, my three brothers, and myself. My favorite thing about my family is that they love and care about me and they support me in everything I do. I do gymnastics at AIM Gym and my favorite event is floor. The person who inspires me the most is Gabby Douglas because she started off by herself doing gymnastics and she kept working hard and made it to the Olympics. When I grow up, I would like to be a photographer because I love to take pictures of my family and events. If I could give advice to other students, I would tell them to keep working toward their goal and they would find success. To be selected for the ETEL Student of the Week, I feel honored and I would like to say thank you for having me here for this opportunity. To my teachers, my family, and my principal, thank you for helping me be successful in all that I've done. Thank you for that Chamber Spotlight, and of course, congratulations to our Student of the Week. We're very proud of your success, not only for being so strong academically, but for setting a great example for all those other students that look up to you. And we also want to say thank you to Premier Lane's Entertainment Center for providing each Student of the Week with his or her very own gift card. We sure do appreciate it, and I know the students do as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show this week as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope that you'll keep in touch with me. You can email me, news at etel.com, if you have an idea that you want us to put in the community calendar or an event that you'd like us to cover. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and make sure to check out our website which has it all, etail.com slash ECC. Includes clips from the show, links mentioned, and all kinds of great information. So I look forward to keeping in touch with you and I will see you out and about in the community I'm sure and of course right here on ETEL Channel 4. Good night and God bless. It's nice to have someone that will just sit and listen to you. They are friends. Judy! Who bring out the best in us. It sure feels good to be back. By being true <gasps> to themselves. Your family will love this heartwarming adventure. It's now or never. For the dreamer in all of us. Snoopy, what would I do without a friend like you? <laughs> the all new Peanuts movie.